We all know the job of a police officer isn't a walk in the park, being ready 24 hours a day to take on criminals and their crimes. But every so often, something worse comes along. A Karen! And she's about to cause mayhem. They love nothing more than annoying anyone with authority. But what happens when the law isn't on the side of Karen kind, and Karens and cops go toe to toe? There's only one way to find out. Let's get started. Now, we've all heard of petty crimes, but this Karen takes that to a whole new level after she decides to call the police over not getting a receipt seat uh, going going back to what i just said so, it's a public place they can record it yeah. makes you feel better i get recorded all the time i don't like it i'm recording you right now as well and it's the duties of my performance as a police officer so you're being recorded it's, it's just for my manager i swear to god as far as the receipt goes this is going to be a civil issue if you there's nothing that the law of the state of Texas can do to intervene here. Now, if you don't like it, you can call the corporate offices of Walgreens and get her neighbor or whatnot and, and take it up with her. But as far as making her give you a receipt or whatnot or telling her to stop, I have to refer back again to the place. I can't tell her to stop. I mean, I can ask her to stop. Do you mind? I have to show this to my manager. It's not for social media. I'm not going to put it anywhere. But given the interaction that me and her just had for my safety and hers, I am recording. Now, can I explain the situation to you? She's, yes, she's been yelling at me the entire time. I've recorded the entire situation. Can, can I just talk to her? The only she's time I yelled at her piece. was when I was standing over there and she asked me a question. Or I don't even know what she said, but I responded to her from you over there. The video. She yelled at me and she said, let me finish and so i stopped what i was doing and i walked over here and i stood here so she can finish what she was saying we give receipts after losing his dog this guy finally tracks her down and thankfully she's been found by a couple of karens who try to say this dog has always been there but when they put the dog on the ground this happens that they found it or no that's not the thing that was there. that's definitely my dog Bro, that's my dog. Hey, Ginger. Now, this is a male. Okay, why is my... Ginger. Come here, Gigi. Come here, good girl. Hey, Gigi Luigi. I'll press charges next time, ma'am. I'll definitely understand. I even brought it and had it microchipped in the... This patient police officer is having to deal with a Karen who's down to her last couple of brain cells. And she wants to go in the mall, but the mall won't let her in. So the police officer tries to explain, but he may as well chat to a wall. If a private business owner, such as Westfield, okay? This is where my disagree, but let me, let me talk, okay? Okay. Part of their code of conduct for individuals going on their property is to uh, adhere to the mayor's safer LA public order, which is documented here, and I have copy for it if you want one. In section five, is to when anyone's out, they have to wear a mask. Are they hair. doctors? Listen, are yeah. they doctors? Ma'am, this is this yeah, are the mayor's okay. doctors. Yeah, I want to know. It actually is a law. Because there are but no, it's not a law, it's a mandate. A mandate is a suggestion. Okay. okay. It's a it, we we did not we did not vote on it. We did not vote on it. This is where you're gonna let me talk. Yeah, go ahead. Last and not, and let him finish, let him finish. And not attack me as a legislator. Yeah, let him finish. Listen to me as a public what? service yeah. kind of, uh, representative yes. that's trying to do our best. And but you swore upon the Constitution too? Listen, listen, listen. So, so um, if they want to not allow you to go on the property, and if you go on a property, then they want you arrested for 602.1 APC, which is trespassing, we will, listen to me, you might not agree with it, but I we can't just, argue we, by law, accept that arrest. And well, we can well, arrest them for not providing service no, you can't. for public accommodation. You can, you can, you can, you can sue them. No, sue them. You can sue them. An you can, like, you yeah, can for, sue them yeah, for civil, this is civil an action. An it's a civil action. There are a lot of this okay. Is okay. Let, let him finish. Let him finish. Okay. 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 The other uh, point that... We need attorney. This Karen has clearly had one too many drinks, but a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts, and she decides to show her true colors by harassing an innocent bartender. But they handled it with class, and little Miss Karen has a one-way ticket to the jailhouse. Because I'm asking you to, because I work here and I'm the bartender and you're a customer that you're not welcome anymore. I never did nothing for the last 30 minutes. You've been harassing me for the whole time. Karen, what's your last name? <laughs> 
Tell him. Perfect What's your last that. name, Karen? No, I'm talking to you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the whole Karen two thing? Losers. Have you heard the Karen thing? Have you heard the Have you heard about the Karen guys thing? Guys from the city so who can't get laid for nothing. Have you heard about the Karen thing, Karen? Have you heard about the Karen thing? There's a okay, Karen. My name is There's Karen. a Karen right Good there. Luck. That's her. That's her. We'll on Facebook. Karen with a capital K lives in Hackensack. Pays We're more money than everybody else in We're taxes calling. apparently. The Bixby's or the Sears <laughs> or the. Uh, Tracy. Like all, right all the cops from minute from Walker. You told me to. Yeah. Sure <laughs> Don't you have something better to do? Um, that answer machine. Right. No Seriously. Let's go. These police officers are having to deal with a group of crazy Karens who think they know the law better than actual cops, but you won't believe what they say next. This doesn't give you the authority to scream and yell at us. So, we're not, we're not so yelling. what I'm trying to tell you is, from my understanding, just so you know that I, I wasn't there, I was told he left the building. He was told by the officer to leave the building as a representative of the post office. He came back in and then refused to leave. Okay. for trespassing okay. that's it mm -hmm. if you don't leave then you have to if you refuse to identify yourself and you refuse to leave the building after being requested to leave he was arrested again i wasn't there okay so can you explain why it is that you were willing to arrest him but now you're claiming that you don't you don't have jurisdiction over a federal no weapon? we don't have jurisdiction for what the federal code is if you have a complaint against the post office i can't do anything about that you have to take it up with the federal government I okay, so in other words, you can arrest private citizens on federal land. If they've been okay. asked to leave, you just can leave the thing. Okay. But do you know what the guidelines are for the post office? You might want to look those up. Okay, but I just want to wait, be wait, clear. Wait, 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 wait. You work for me. You, wait, wait, you know wait, wait, what you need to hold on to a finish. second. Let me no, finish. No. All right, okay, see. I told you, if you're not going to let me finish, we're just going to Okay, then I think you should probably take these with you. But like I said, oh, if you, if you, you would like, you can look on the post or not. office. If you look on the post office. This is Title 42. It gives me, us the ability to sue you guys. Yeah, that's fine. Right? You that's, you have no, right I think that. that you really need to know so about this because we're angry and we're going to look at the guidelines this is for the post office. They tell you what you guys can and can't do. There's actually a page that says what you're allowed to do. Uh, so you might want to look for those. Did you notice that when you walk into the post office, it says everywhere recommended. It doesn't say it's the law. You are a liar and a trickster. How shameful. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? See, ma'am, right now you're yelling at me and I told Foreign you Foreign and domestic? I don't care. Oh, I a belligerent life. woman still has so her you're, rights. So you're Which not I told you you guys can do. You're not going to help you We have, a rest, we have an arrest report. You guys violence. have become the criminals. You guys have anything else Is this what you wanted when you took it off? I'm not here to argue with you. Yes, you are. You're supposed to indulge me. You work for me. We're your masters. We are your masters. You You're are not criminal. dismissed. Sometimes you've got to feel a little sorry for these cops. Day in, day out, they've got to deal with know-it-all Karens causing trouble. Like this next Karen who refuses to wear a mask. Wait until you hear why. Do what? Put on a mask or something to cover your face. Okay? Why do I have to cover my face? Because... Oh. Wow, this is ridiculous. I'm not covering my mouth. I need a, I need healthy air exchange in my mouth. I have a medical exemption, okay. so you can't force me to so wear a right mask. Now, what you're, what's happening is that basically you're not following the rules, okay? Um, no, actually, you're not following the rules because I know my charter of rights and I know that I am legally allowed to do and go where I please without yeah. having a mask but when I am medically now. exempt, okay? Right now, you're in a 
evacuation using public transport. Listen, I'm right. just trying to get home to Richmond, okay? okay. That's it. Right now, I'm asking you. I'm not getting off the train. Okay. If that's the case, we're going to have to arrest you. Have to arrest you. You're going to have to arrest me because I don't have a mask? Are you kidding me? I am medically exempt. I showed you my medical exemption card. This is harassment. These patient officers try to deal with the male Karen behind the camera, who think they know the law better than the officers when they tell him to leave. But he demands to know what he's done wrong. Even if he did stay, I wouldn't want to eat the food they'd be cooking him. Am I being arrested for anything I'm doing? No, at this time you're not being arrested. I didn't do, do, did I, did I do anything wrong? Did I do anything wrong, though? So I'm asking yeah, you. Ask you so I'm asking you, did I do anything wrong? You just need to leave. I didn't do anything. I didn't care with them. I did not come with them. I came by myself. Okay. Then you can leave by yourself. I'm asking did I do anything wrong? And, and, is I'm arrested for anything I'm doing wrong? You're not under arrest, no. So are oh. you refusing my service? Yes. Why are you refusing my service? Because, because I'm black? Okay, Answer the, this question, because I'm black? You're the only one that's bringing race into it. I sat here first. Okay. There's no problem for me sitting right here. And we're re gonna refuse your service, so you need to leave. You can't not refuse somebody's service. Okay. Are you on duty? We're I need to speak to. I need to speak. To, I need to speak to a, a, a active supervisor for the night. Okay. I am. A, I am a taxpayer, Saginaw Township resident. Okay. I pay my taxes. Okay. I was here sitting here first. Okay. 